I, I do like this map though, so I'm not gonna say that. Ah, for Pete's sake. It's just so tedious. This is so hard. Away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing a ton of followers because of that one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Have you anybody comment negatively on it? I saw some positive comments. No, nobody negative, but people are like, alright, that's enough. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Okay, here's my stance on People um, would unfollow you for something like that. I'm offended because you insulted Bill Cosby. People that think Bill Cosby's uh, allegation, the allegations against him are false. Well, it's not that you're saying they're true, you're just making fun of it. I'm make, yeah, of course. You're not even making fun of that, you're just saying, put them pop away, which is hilarious. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Alright. I will shoot down every single picture in this room. I think it is not what we think it is. I don't uh, know. Why else would they do this? I'm so happy you found the hidden picture. <laughs> your laughing made me miss my... Or your joke made me laugh and miss my shot. Oh, did no one notice it? Right there? Where? Right there. Where? The, the open square in the... Yeah, I think I did that by accident. Oh. There's another one over here. Yeah. <laughs> I think those are just me. <laughs> I was like, that was awfully suspicious. Uh, I think Is we got all, all of them. I think we got all of them here. What? Oh, wait, it's open now. It's open. Did we have to shoot them all off the walls for it to open? For Pete's I sake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, good. I was hoping there was going to be more darkness. I got torches. I got three paintings now, so... Alright. Watch video 17. Did we watch 16? Yes. Yep. Okay. That's what the guy said. Hey, <laughs> Pie. <laughs> what did he say? Pootie Pie? Hi, <laughs> Pootie Pie. You are very close to where I'm being held. It's only a matter of time now. Unfortunately, in between you and I is a small army of the undead. I'm sure you won't have any problems dealing with them, though. Please be quick. I'll be waiting. Okay. <laughs> That's what it like to me. Alright. Oh! Those are spiders, not dead. I really like this texture pack, I'm just gonna say. Oh, for... The army of bacon! I think it looks beautiful on default mode. Oh, great. I think it's looking so beautiful in creative mode. Whoops. Sorry, I'm, I'm accidentally hitting holes in the floor. I'm accidentally breaking spawners, I'm so sorry, guys. It happens. Let there be light. You are so close to me. I'm so excited for you. Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there is a ton of creepers in here. Oh, and soul sand, so you move extra slow. But they made the soul sand look like little skulls in this texture pack. That's kind of cool. Well, you you know on the default, like oh, soul man. sand looks like little screaming faces. Look at this mess. Oh, does it really? Yeah. I never noticed that. Like little like uh, <laughs> foolish faces. Okay, so this is a maze in itself. <laughs> so. Oh, this is horrible. 
So I think we should just fly to the end. That's what I'm doing, although I'm breaking spawners. Oops, sorry. <laughs> is this where we came from or? No, this is not where we came from. What? I found the end. <laughs> where are you? <laughs> this flaming bridge. Uh. I wonder what this king looks like. I'm sure he's a handsome gentleman. And then you're gonna fall? Weep! Oh, going to the nether? Because why not? Because why not? That was quick. Oh, in the texture pack, this block that's surrounding us kind of looks like black fire the way they did it. It's like. Yes, it does. Cool. It looks beautiful. Oh, another. Uh, uh, another portal. Uh, okay, I guess we'll go in. Why not? Because those mages are so lazy. Uh oh. Oh, what is this? This is a lot of work, though. It is, yeah. I mean, I can definitely. I'm gonna go back to the survival for the experience. <laughs> Watch this big boss. Pull the pull lever, then watch video. All right, let me get over there. Hold on a second. Oh wait, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I wait. Lily walks right up. Well, I got math to do. I don't care. I do the chemistry. Yes. All right. Well, I guess nothing happens when you pull the lever. But, uh, <laughs> I just got one little task for you to do. Get me oh, some. Okay. Oh Ooh, wait, holy no, smokes, look something at this. is happening. Whoa. Look at that! 360 checking from Capital One. <laughs> <laughs> no minimum balance. That. that is wow. that's very cool. No, really. But yes to no nonsense. Yes to you. <laughs> so 360 checking from Capital One. <laughs> What's in your wallet? No, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, I don't know what is more amazing, the fact that someone as slow and clumsy as you actually made it here, or that you were foolish enough to believe my ridiculous story this entire time. Although I do suppose you deserve a reward, and as your reward, I will spare your life, but for your world, oh, I have other plans for that. Your world will burn, and there is nothing that you or that old man will be able to do to stop me this time. Thank you again. I tried to warn you, but you refused to listen, and now look what you have done. You have released the deceiver upon us, and now the whole world shall burn. The deceiver may still be defeated, but not here. He is far too powerful. Look behind you. I have opened a door for you. Pass through it, and I will tell you how you can undo what you have done. I don't get it. Oh, just another door. Although I made the giant skull cry. Was the king the deceiver the whole time? Uh, is that what it was? Who oh, no. knows? <laughs> I'm. Oh, video 19. Fantastic. Wow, 19 already. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go punch the deceiver right in the face. Hold on a second. <laughs> you truly are a foolish mortal. And here I thought, only dwarves could be that dumb. You do not know what you have done. You have released the deceiver upon this world, and now it will burn. And before you say anything, this is my voice. The deceiver took it, and made me to sound like a monster. Anything I said to you would sound as if I was trying to scare you away. All the while, he used my voice to whisper sweet nothings in your ear and tell you tales of woe so you would come triumphantly to his rescue and to our doom. 
Did you not stop to think, for even a moment while you were tromping around the kingdom of the sky, that perhaps, just perhaps, all the security and safeguards were not there to keep some sky prince in the castle, but to keep an evil at bay? No, no, that never occurred to you. I suppose I should at least tell you about him. He is the Deceiver. He may have told you another name, but it is false. No one knows his real name. He is the ruler of a parallel world, one of fire and flame, where all living creatures cower before him. He seeks to do that to our world, and because of you, he can, and despite your blundering, all is not lost. He still can be beaten, but not here. Here he is far too powerful. You see, he cannot enter this world. He can only project himself into it. And while he is doing so, he is incredibly powerful. But that means in his realm, he is significantly weaker. That is where I am taking you. That is where you must go to his realm. It is there you will find him. It is there you will confront him and it is there you will undo what you have done. Your journey is far, far from over. Oh no. Your trials have just begun. Oh, wonderful. Hey, it's with this tunnel on fire as we're going through it. It's kind of fun. <laughs> oh, thank you. I think I'm behind you. <laughs> you are? That'll be No, no, I'm behind Scott. <laughs> it's, gonna be, it's gonna add to the experience. <laughs> well, I did say it was gonna burn everything, so... I'm just trying to be true to the experience. Now I'm, I'm setting fires as well. I haven't hit Sean's fires yet. Wow, this has gone on forever. Yeah, this is, uh... Oh, I'm at watch final video. Maybe I'm in front. Must be. I think I'm in back. I think I went after you guys. Oh. <laughs> so I, I blew up the face, so most of the face. Yeah, I'm looking back. I see some fires going on. Ah, it, it won't let me out. It won't let me out. Oh, there we go. It's like Doctor Who or something, this tunnel. To be continued. That's what the wall says. I know. Oh my god, look at these fires. It's all burning up. Where are you, Sean? I'm, I'm coming up behind you guys. You're really far behind. Yeah, I see you in here. Okay, well, I guess it's that time of, of map <laughs> to say what our ratings are for this map. And Lily, I believe you went last, last time, so you can go first this time. What, okay. What do you rate this map? Um... Well, it's not the best map that we've played, I think. Um, I think my favorite map we've played was Diversity, yeah. by far. Um, but, however, I don't want that to take away from the sheer craftsmanship and work that went into it. I totally understand that, um, you know, it took this guy a month and a half to do it. And what is happening to the map? Why is it disappearing? It's uh, it's had some issues. <laughs> yeah, we did. Break. Anyways, but the the work that went into it, um, I thought the idea of using the videos going along was excellent, even though it was a pain in the butt to edit. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, it was really really difficult too, which I wasn't a fan of. I didn't want to spend three hours trying to get through one cave to find out what happens next in the storyline. I would rather have a map that's doable or, you know, give me a little bit more resources. Um, but he did say it was going to be hard, so whatever. So I rate this map a solid 8.59. Wow! Out of 10? Yeah, out of 10. Out of 10. Wow. Do you want to break those categories down a little bit? Is that just your final rating? Like in story, what's your what's your story okay. rating? My story rating 
I think it has more story substance than any other adventure map we've played, to be honest. So my story rating would be like a nine. Okay. Um, difficulty. Um, it's really hard, and I didn't like that, so I'd rate it about a four. Um, different elements of gameplay. It was kind of the same all around. There's a little bit of parkour, but it was mostly just killing monsters. Um, there was a there was a maze. There was a minecart ride that did absolutely nothing. So I'd rate that about a six. Um, but and then there's of course the artistic like showmanship part of the map. What all the creations and stuff. So I'd give that part a ten, by hands down. All right. So, so eight point five to nine total score. Yeah. Okay, Scott, it's your turn. What would you give this map? Uh, I would give this map an eight. I think it's uh well done and well crafted, like Lily said. But uh, you know, trying to integrate voiceover into it that was something pretty clever that I have not seen before or have encountered before, and I always appreciate people trying to incorporate new elements, trying to expand the boundaries of the game. That was kind of neat. I mean, not really a big fan of the story. I couldn't really follow what was going on. Um, and it was kind of a letdown that there's really nothing that happens at the end, but, you know, I appreciate all the work that went into it and everything. It is a well-designed uh, map and story, even though I really didn't know what was going on, but... Yes. But I'll give it an 8. Okay. I will give my rating now, and I shall go category-wise, because my rating is very involved. <laughs> I've been writing things down, notes down, for, for days. Wow. Um, Story-wise... Well, I'm not going to go story. Story's going to be the last. Creation of this map, especially in 1.4.7, and there was not many, or no, um, uh, command blocks, because I don't even know if they existed in this version yet. So I find that very impressive. I give the store, um, the creation of it, a uh, a ten. He did a fantastic job for the way he had to deal with and what limitations he had. That was fantastic. Um, the artsy parts of it were very good too. Again, with what he had, texture-wise, texture pack is great. I'll rate that separately in a second. I give that a oh, I just fell out of the world. Um, I give the texture pack. I mean the. Uh, <laughs> I'm um, back in the stupid grave digger's house. Um, I give the arts part of it, you know, a really a a nine. It was so it's very creative. Um, the texture pack I think was really cool. I give that a a eight solidly. Um, the narration, the voice narration, I I was not a fan. I would say. I think he was a little too into it for me. Um, I didn't like the fact that he had to navigate. I know he's limited to what he had to use, YouTube and whatnot. I would have preferred written notes, I think, than him reading it. Just because I, I did not like his voice. As you might have well, noticed. Well, I mean, the guy was not a professional voice actor. You I'm know? not it, saying he was. I'm not claiming he ever was a professional voice actor. But I just, I, it turned me off. I'm sorry. That's my opinion. I give that a a four. That feature four. Um, and the story. Unfortunately, I have to give the story a a four also. A three and a half to a four. I I thought the story was pure poop. It didn't make any sense. You don't know where you're going half the time. And the ending. I expected when that skull started dropping off. Even though it was so cool. I expected that there would be some major thing going on. Yes. Um, and, okay, there's going to be something major happening. We're going to fight something. And that was just it. You just ended and you went to, um, you know, you went to that tunnel of thing and that was the end of the map, which is stupid. I didn't like that. I didn't like the ton that the tunnel lasted for like three minutes. That was unnecessary. Maybe I guess you were supposed to hear a voiceover while you were going through it, so it's like... And You're I didn't experience that, because I was going through it as the voice thing was doing it, and it didn't do anything for me at all. No, 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 but it was like, it wasn't just boring where it was straight going through it. I could see where 
he wants you to pay attention to what he's saying, so he gives you this thing to ride while you're listening. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just, get it. I don't. I didn't like it either, but I get it. Maybe Kingdom of the Skies 2, which does exist, is better than this one. And adds to the story, and then maybe I'll revise my rating. Um, but this is like, so, this is the Phantom Menace of the <laughs> Kingdom of the Sky to me. Um, so your kids will love it. Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> I just didn't get, I couldn't get into this. I was hoping the story would go somewhere. It seemed fun to begin with, and then right at the end where the the, the king was at whatever, I, I don't know. Um, so overall, I give this map a 7.5 to an 8 for what it is. I think my opinion is if they converted this map to 1.8, a newer version with command blocks and took it, you know, and redid it with a new version and add some features, it could definitely be a 10 out of 10. It could be a fantastic map. But you need to get yeah. those command blocks in there. You need to get that, you know, like the other maps we played recently where you have, you, you hit certain areas and a, a thing's description comes up on the screen. You get some sounds in it. You get cool stuff like that. That would definitely improve it. But for what it is, seven. Seven, a solid seven. See, the reason that I thought the story was so... was at least better than anything we've played, because on your average adventure map in Minecraft, it's like, oh, your dad tells you to go and do this. There's really <laughs> no character development. And right, I feel right. like in this story, there was character development where there isn't. Not necessarily that the story is easy... It's good. It's just the best that we've had because of that element. I wish yeah, my dad. Would, I wish my 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 dad would have told me to do something in this map. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm uh, just doing this little outro thing to remind you to leave a thumbs up to support me and my endeavors in the video game universe. And also subscribe if you think there's a slim chance that I might be able to make you laugh again, if I made you laugh at all. There, there I go, just assuming things. All these links are in the description region. Click on my channel name to go back and watch some of my other videos, or perhaps they're suggested on the side. Go to this link if you want to, you know, at mention me something, talk to me. I get lonely sometimes. This link if you want to see me stream live whenever I decide that I want to. And I think, I think that's everything. Have a lovely day.